Well, this is the kind of match every football fan looks forward to. A lot on the line and the likelihood of a tension-packed occasion. Stay tuned. We'll have all the action for you live here on EA TV. Hello and welcome to the Lusail Stadium, just about 10 miles to the north of Doha here in Qatar. I'm Derek Ray, ready here in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And both teams looking to get off to a flying start here on match day one for them at the 2022 FIFA World Cup. It's Australia against Denmark. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And the starting 11 for Australia. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel begins in goal. Simon Kerr plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Thomas Delaney plays alongside Christian Eriksen in the centre of midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. is underway beautifully weighted ball Ericsson is it going to be Christian Ericsson and a goal that is a very bright start perfect way to open Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Martin Boyle and a tidy tackle Mele Christian Eriksen now Hoybier it needs an accurate cross Hoybier here's Eriksen Bien. It's Jamie McLaren. Rustic. It's there for him. And the challenge crisp and clean. Mikael Damsgaard. The attack continues, they're making considerable progress. Can they convert? Oh, right to 
in the nick of time. Behic. Goodwin. Aziz Behic. Patient enough build up. Can they carve out a chance? Surely the equaliser. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Damsgaard. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Rivier. Can he make it count? And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Goodwin. Boyle. I must say, this looks promising. And it's still on for him. A oh, terrific piece of goalkeeping. They're going for the short one. And they've done it to square the game once again. Accelerating. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post cover for me. Business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Oh, freezing past him. With the game level, let's see what they can do with this corner. Trying to pick out a teammate. Oh, off the line. High class defending right on the goal line. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Goal. Well underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Boyle. Patient build up at the moment. Goodwin. Surely! And he read it really well. Fine save. And there's the delivery. A decisive clearance it was. Oh, the referee has given it. Penalty it is.
to make it 2-2. And slot it home. Well, his heart might have been fluttering, but he didn't show it. A goal from the spot. Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So, back underway, the game having been squared at 2-2. Behic Goodwin Well the threat was very real Marvellous defending So two minutes to be added on at the end Delaney Fabier Dolberg has it Ericsson. Well, the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, I think he's been outstanding so far. He's looked a constant threat and he scored a very good goal. What a player he is. Into the second half then, and these two sides are locked together. Just can't really choose between them at the moment. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Ericsson. Rivière. Can he find the angle? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Corner kick played in. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. Goodwin. Degenek. Rustic. Might be able to set up the chance. Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. time for cool heads well they're certainly getting closer you just sense that the goal is coming they're playing so well at the moment passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead Ericsson could be oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger Jackson Irvin. Well, the possession tells you everything. Nothing really to split between the two sides. It's been an enthralling encounter up to now with both teams playing some really good expansive football. You just wonder if the coach would be looking at that and how they can tighten it up at the back as it's been chance after chance right now. Javier. Daniel Vaz. And Javier with it. 
And Australia with the ball again. Jackson Irwin. It should be! Scott Olsen. And Javier with it. Ericsson. Well, nicely cut out. I must say, this looks promising. Oh, great defending. Doing well to keep possession. Daniel Vass. Delaney. And he did well to cut it out. Prustic. It's Jamie McLaren. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Delaney. Damsgaard. And Hoybier with it. They've given it away. Delaney. Mele. Damsgaard. How can they nudge in front late on here? Strength and control, a big part of his game. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Behic. And it'll be a throw-in for Australia. Goodwin. Behic. That's useful play. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here it is again, and credit to the goal scorer, but you have to ask questions of the keeper. He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. moment near the end and that might well be the decider Kea Daniel Vass and the ball with Christensen well, totalling up all the stoppages we'll have two additional minutes they get forward but time is very much against them here couldn't capitalise there there it is the final whistle disappointment in the camp because it goes into the books as a defeat Stuart well I thought it was a really intense game lots of quality lots of good individual displays in the end though they won't be happy with the defeat nor the manner of it conceding so late on well he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stuart he's thought his way throughout this match well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.